In this video, I'm going to show you Newton's law of cooling. Now, at any instant, the rate of cooling, or warming of an object, is proportional to the difference between the temperature of the object and the temperature of the surroundings. Now, that means that dt, dt, where the capital T is the temperature, and the lowercase t is the time, it is equal to k times t minus ts. The t, without any subscript, is the final temperature of the object, Ts is the surrounding temperature. Now we also have to introduce a T naught, which is the initial temperature of the object, because we want to know if it starts at initial temperature, perhaps how long does it take to go to its final temperature. Now in order for us to find Newton's law of cooling, we actually need to integrate this formula here. So to integrate means to uh, find the opposite or to do the inverse. Now, for us to do this, we need to move everything with a capital T to one side and a lowercase t to the other side. So I'm going to move the capital T's to the left and the dt, the lowercase one, to the right. So I have dt, and then divide by t minus ts, so I get 1 over t minus ts on the left. And then on the right, I get k times dt. Now, in order for us to integrate, we need to introduce the symbol, and it looks like this kind of curly S symbol like that. All right, let's take a look at the left side. So remember that it's the opposite, or the inverse, so that means that when I differentiate something, I will get 1 over t minus ts. So if you recall, that something is the natural log of t minus ts. So when I differentiate this, remember when I differentiate a natural log, it becomes one over whatever the variable is. On the right side, what do I differentiate to just get a number, just get k? That will be k times t. So if I differentiate k times t, I will just get k. Now also, we need to add a constant because when I differentiate the constant, it actually becomes zero. So it's important that we need to think about maybe what that number is as well. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this formula in um, to law, law and form. And remember that natural log has a base of e. So let's say I put it here. So we're going to say that e to the power of kt plus c. So I'm going to put that on the side. So e to the power of kt plus c is equal to t minus ts. So I'm going to actually ignore the absolute values. Um, it doesn't actually matter in this case here. All right, now next I'm going to separate my right side so that I have e to the kt plus e to the c. Oh, not plus, sorry. Common mistake. This should be times. So we times it by e to the c. So... The reason I've done that is I actually can separate this e to the c. e to the c is still a constant number. So it doesn't matter really what c is, it will be whatever the arbitrary um, constant that we pick. At time equal to zero, I will get t minus ts equal to e to the 0 times oops, e to the c. So e to the 0 is 1, so therefore e to the c is equal to t. Now I'm going to change this t of 0 to t naught minus ts. So now I've actually derived the formula. So if I know that e to the c is t naught minus ts, I can now go back up to here and replace my e to the c with this t naught minus ts. Okay, so now I have the formula t minus ts, and I'm also going to put this in the front, is equal to t naught minus ts times e to the power of kt. And this is the formula that we use for Newton's law of cooling. So remember, it's going to be the final temperature minus the surrounding temperature. 
and is equal to the initial temperature minus the surrounding temperature times e to the power of kt. So let's take a look at one example to see how this works. So we have a cup of boiling water and it's placed in a fridge which is kept at 5 degrees Celsius. We take a measurement and it takes 6 minutes to cool the water to 90 degrees. How long will it take to cool to 68 degrees? Okay. So we're going to first set up, we're going to use this T uh, Newton's method, the T minus TS, um, to first find our proportionality constant. So we have 90, which is our final temperature, and the surrounding temperature, the temperature of the fridge is 5, so 90 minus 5 is equal to T naught, or T naught is the initial temperature, and since it's a boiling water, that water is going to be 100 degrees Celsius, minus the surrounding temperature again, which is 5, times E to the power of 6 times K. So we know that when we read this, it takes six minutes for the temperature to decrease from 100 to 90 with the surrounding temperature of 5. So simplifying this, we get 85 over 95 equals e to the 6k. So remember to bring the variable um, down to the front. We're going to take the natural log of both sides. And then we have that this is going to equal 1. So k is equal to the natural log of 85 divided by 95 all over 6. All right. So what I'm going to now do is now that I know the proportionality constant, I want now my, my final temperature to be 68 degrees. And then I want to figure out how long it takes to do this. So now my final temperature is 68 minus my surrounding, which is 5. And then my initial minus my surrounding, which I already calculated from before, is 95. So I'll put that over here. Times E. And my proportionality constant is now ln, or natural log, 85 divided by 95, all divided by 6 times T. So on the left side, we get 63 divided by 95 equals E to all the stuff here. Okay, that's not a very nice nine, so let me just write that again. So 85 over 95. And we're going to take the natural log of both sides. And then remember, this is times ln e. So we're actually bringing this exponent down to the front um, as we take the natural log of both sides like this. So I just skipped a step here just to uh, make it a little bit quicker. And so this becomes 1. So we're going to take, so t, divide times both sides by 6, times ln 63 over 95, divided by the natural log of 85 over 95. So typing all of this into your calculator, don't forget to put the brackets in the bottom. We get 22.157 minutes. So it's going to take 22 minutes, approximately, to cool the water from 100 degrees Celsius to 68 degrees Celsius.